Northwestern Hawaiian Islands to me is always seen as a place of amazing inspiration by recognizing that our early Native Hawaiians were great voyagers, great oceans people. They knew the islands, they would go up there, they would use it as a resource in a responsible way. It was their worldview that these islands were, were of the level of being sacred. We're like rediscovering all of that now with amazing young people that are doing extraordinary research up there about recovering and rediscovering the things that we gave up and we forgot and the time when we didn't value things of land. The Northwestern Hawaiian Islands and the current Papahānaumokuākea Mokuakea Marine National Monument extends 1,200 miles past Kauai. It's 14 land masses with many smaller reefs and shoals there. Papahānaumokuākea Marine National Monument was designated in 2006 by a presidential proclamation by President Bush. And at first it didn't have this name. It was the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands Marine National Monument. And the next year, after lots of deliberation and consultation with Native Hawaiian practitioners and scholars, it received the name Papahānaumokuākea. And this name recognizes the two main progenitors of the Hawaiian people and of the Hawaiian archipelago. So Papahanaumoku is this mother figure that is personified by the foundational earth that births islands. And then you have Wakea, who is that, that spiritual father figure that is personified in the expansive and broad sky. And so to honor both of them, this is where the name Papahanaumokuākea comes from. The protection and the creation of the Papahanamoku Akea monument really protects us, our cultural heritage, um, our cultural past of, of what it meant for Hawaiians to go up there a long time ago and what it means to go up there today. Um, it was also created for the protection of the ecosystems, of the fish, of, of the animals that live up there that no longer live down here um, in the abundance they used to live. So the protection of those species is also the protection of us as people. It's a redefinition of our connection to home, and, uh, and it's vital. I, I'm really proud to live here in Hawaii, to see the thousands and thousands of people that are starting to shift, to look at protection matters, that conservation matters, that, that the old kind of industrial worldview of overconsumption without any sense of responsibility to culture and place is over here. The world needs it. It's been sailing around the planet, and uh, I, I, I know it. And you want to thank the institutions like Fish and Wildlife that were quietly protecting these islands for over 100 years. And you want to thank all the other organizations that came in. I mean, many, many. Uh, NOAA and uh, the Office of Hawaiian Affairs that, uh, that helped us learn about the place, understand it, and create the leadership decision that had to be made to protect it protect what we love, protect what we value. And so 10 years later, here we are. The science is collected from the area is much more robust. Um, new discoveries of uh, plants and animals, a better understanding of seabirds and the mammals, the sort of re-emergence of Hawaiian culture and the merging of Hawaiian culture and science into, you know, biocultural understandings right now that I think both sides are benefiting from. It's an important area to Native Hawaiians for several reasons. One, of course, the voyaging community really likes that first sail from basically Kauai or Ni'ihau to Nihoa because it's out of sight of land. So for that first navigator, it's a perfect place, right, because you can't see any land until you successfully navigate and see Nihoa. The next island over though is equally important because uh, that island is Mokumanamana, which is you know, full of um, spirituality. I mean, you, can, you cannot help but feel it when you're there. These images right here are from Nekar Island or Mokumanamana. Um, they're really one of the most I would say famous anthropomorphic images in the Pacific, uh, well known uh, because they look so unique and so different, uh, made out of stone, uh, very detailed sort of carvings and reliefs on top of them. 
A lot of the research that I've done has definitively shown that these images are made by Native Hawaiians because there's only Native Hawaiian evidence and presence up there. We have settlement dates that span from about 1300 to contact period. So a continuous time where Native Hawaiians were actively going back and forth to these islands and occupying them. I think the overall movement for the protection of the Northwest Hawaiian Islands and the establishment of the National Monument has really helped Native Hawaiians because it's allowed cultural access to go up there. And so previously, Native Hawaiian issues and concerns were not something that were really on the table, I would say, for the past at least century before that. Um, and with this new added protection, there is at least some acknowledgement that Native Hawaiians should have a role and some input in the process of what goes on up there. Papahanaumokuakea has helped us to bring culture into the equation in a way that's respectful to Hawaiian knowledge, values, and people. So why is that important? Well, we've been stripped pretty much from our land and sea in a very short amount of time. Pressures on our people, pressures on our ways of life, pressures on the uniqueness of what Hawaii and our Hawaiian culture and practices are to the planet for humanity, the, the human heritage of our planet. And by being able to bring Hawaiians to the table, by creating tables comfortable for Hawaiians, by having Hawaiians be part of advisory boards, by having a cultural working group to review permits. And what I'm probably most proud of is that we worked really hard to create pathways and jobs to work with the next generation and bring up students that could be impacted by their experiences and have it frame how they see their future. And so that's the vision. Here's this, here's this wonderful laboratory that has a place that allows both Western scientists and Native Hawaiian scientists to access this deeper ike this deeper sense of knowledge which will help with the creative solutions in dealing with global climate change and the, and the problems that we're going to have to work out uh, in, the, in the next century. I think places on the planet like Papahanaumokuakea give us this sense of wellness before the baseline shifted to remind us and to give us purpose to try to make different decisions to live on this planet in a way, and I'm super proud that one of those places on the planet is Hawaii. And it's one of Hawaii's gift to ourselves, gift to future generations, and I think gift to the world. Mm -hmm.